We wanted to do this kind of achieving a certain mood and feel with like Dorian and Mixolydian combined. They could both have kind of a similar effect. I was watching Avatar 2 the other day and there was a lot of Dorian and Mixolydian uh, intermixed with a lot of vocalistic kind of uh, lines. Um, and just the way it was approached had a kind of an enchanting sound. I know like Dorian from like Lord of the Rings has a very kind of like slightly, you know, everybody says medieval sound, but it's just a generalization. So let's just play through a quick sequence. Done for this very reason. So you notice the Dorian section does not sound like it's part of, you know, like a Lord of the Rings kind of movie. It sounds more like an Avatar-ish kind of movie, except it's in B flat Dorian. And I'll just play through the chords because they're all written out here for you. It, this is actually very simple. And I did use wind groups for the melody in Dorian. So it seems kind of rare nowadays to use uh, regular wind groups in melody, ex unless they're ethnic kind of sounding winds. Just an interesting observation that the wind groups rarely get melodies anymore. Even though I did use them, I'm just playing to them. So, uh, Dorian. So you could use the progressions freely, you can't obviously can't use the melodies. So the next part goes into Mixolydian. Often if you use Mixolydian in the right way, it can sound over the top kind of enchanting, um, overly happy, so to speak. Um, especially adding choir like this. So and you can tell it has that over-the-top kind of very, very enchanting sound. Notice the modulation was from an A-flat to an E chord, so that's a chromatic median shift. Very common in film music. It's very, actually very simple. I wrote out all the chords here for you. It's very rhythmic, too. That also helps. Instead of sustained. So that rhythmic aspect and especially when the lower lines are doing stuff like this. And Allie wrote in, this is only just again a basic uh, draft. So it's not the full thing obviously, you can't put everything on to two staves. So let's go ahead and let's do it again. So again, I'm not going to do full pieces, just trying to get these cer certain types of moods, but these are two types of scales you might want to consider when you're looking to get that kind of avatarish kind of like enchanting sound. Dorian and Mixolydian, they can both achieve that very easily. Um, it just depends on how you approach it. Um, I did, again, like I said, I prefer to still use orchestra wind groups and main melodies. And that's, again, that's an interesting observation a friend made the other day is that that seems to be kind of rare unless it's kind of like an ethnic-y kind of uh, wind uh, instrument. But it, to each their own, That's that's what I say. <laughs> 